Hello everybody, Five Ruby Pwn 2 here. Um, so two things. One, if you hear my cat, who is currently right next to me, I don't know why he is going crazy right now. But second, um, I the actual point of this video, I wanted to go over the patch notes for Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Um the cross uh, the cross tag battle patch notes are going to be in the description below if you are watching this on YouTube. Um However, I do know that the uh, patch notes are going to be coming up, or the patch notes, the big patch, the 2.0 patch, is going to be coming up in two days. Uh, I'm recording this on the 19th. The release for the patch is going to be on the 21st. Um, so there's a lot of changes that's going to be happening. There's a lot of changes to characters that's going to be happening. There's going to be a lot of changes to the system that's going to be happening. And we're just going to go check them out. So I got game up here. Eddie's sleeping, so don't mind him. Um, and we're just going to go look at all the characters, all the systems, and go from there. Alright, so I did some preparations just to make sure that... Oh, hold on. Actually, no, I was dead. Uh, but while uh, I revived Noel, yes. while I don't revive Noel here, we can go over a couple of uh, things um, if you are... You have the patch notes in front of you. We can go over this together. Um, so the first thing that uh, they talked about the new system is one of the big changes that they came up with uh, in this big patch, and that is the cross rate system. I'm actually, the pauses because I know they're gonna, I don't talk if um, I don't do anything. Um, so the cross rate, it looks like okay. It says after landing the okay. So we saw this in uh, the gameplay. Um, after the big trailer for 2.0, where they announced that Celica, Susano, Adachi, and Elizabeth, and Hilda. Um, so it's after landing your first smart combo, so you're just your 5A combo. Ooh, five, your 5A combo. Um, if you press um, A one more time, you can call in your uh, partner. Which is a safer way to call out your team, or your teammate, as I have observed. So, from what I've observed from little snippets of Twitter and stuff like that, um... Hold on, I song because this song is going to be it's going to actually bug me greatly. Alright, as I was saying, um, so it's a good way that we can, you can actually, um, switch out your... Uh, your character safely, so you can just, uh, you know, you can mess 5A, and then afterwards, like, Jin will pop out, do his little thing, and it's, like, a decent, like, what is it, 4K? No, oh, actually, it's, it's important now. So, like, when I saw, when you see certain characters do it, um, they actually, uh, like, they do their little combo, they do 4K, and then they do a little, actually, I didn't realize, is that, is that the same? I don't know, yeah, actually, it's a lot stronger than I thought it was. Um, point being, um, it gives your, uh, your teammates sa um, out safely, and you, then you can do, you know, you can do things like this, you know, um... What's the map? You uh, let me get a corner call, go after Go get down! Uh, 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 but if you have a better, like, if you have a faster assist, or you can do a more optimal combo, you probably do a combo What's that allows you to, um, uh, uh, that allows you to just switch out, to, switch out to, uh, to your other team. Yeah, you can do stuff like this, and then you can switch out to your teammates safely. And then you can still do about 6k damage, unless they nerf Ragnar's damage, which I would only be half surprised. Um... Let's see, your partner will be have to be at the back in order to use cross rate. Okay, yeah, so if I do like the first combo I did, it wouldn't work. But if I did that second combo that I did where I did the corner combo dead spike combo, then it would work. Using cross rate, yeah, using cross rate, we use up all remaining cross. Okay, so it'll use all that blue gauge down there. So, What's like, the uh, so I get okay, so I guess also, uh, if I try to do it this way, it won't work. I, if I use something like that, if I use it like that, I better just cash out with, 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 uh, with whatever I'm doing, 
because it's just gonna be more worth it in the end to do it that way. The resonance will increase regardless of the amount of weight. It increases your resonance. Really? How much resonance does this use without... I mean, how much resonance does a combo like this use right now? I don't normally play Ragnar Jin. My team is Yang Teddy or Yang and Jin. My main team is Yang and Jin, but I also use uh, Yang and Teddy. So let's get this at zero real quick. So let's see how much comp damage this does. So I, I assume that that means that that increases drastically. Um, Sam is going to activate a cross combo with 100 cross gauge. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh god, I just choked a little bit. Um. So it seems like what that means is if you use your cross combo at 50%, you'll get a little bit of... Actually, hold on. Oh, regardless of. So, it, you use some... Like, it doesn't matter what amount of um, cross gauge that you have. You'll still get the same amount of uh, resonance. Alright, so the next big thing is extra assault. Yeah, this is slightly new to me. Powerful attack that can be unleashed by pressing C. Oh, never mind. Uh, I, just, I didn't know it might What's the matter? Come at me. You scared? Um, oh no, it's it's this. this? No holding back. It's that move, but you, if you time it better, then there you go. It requires one skill gauge. Shimeo Hatas. Oh no, hold on, what's okay, am I am I just actually stupid? Okay, I got my I got my information backwards. I I got cross gauge and You scared? I think. Oh, no, I was right. Hey, what the fuck is skill gauge, then? No, I was right. What's what the, the fuck? Matter? Okay, no, I was right. Okay, so cross gauge is the blue bar. Okay, so, no, I was right, I was right. I just got confused for two seconds. Okay, hold you on. Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 Powerful attack that can be unleashed by pressing C during the finish of a two-person clash assault requires one skill gauge. So it uses one bar of your super gauge. And, okay, so skill gauge is super gauge. I, I'm sorry, I literally brain farted so hard. <clears throat> a normal clash assault will uh, will curve. There's not enough skill gauge for me. So what's the difference? Does it do more damage? I mean, I assume, like, okay. So, the main difference about, um, uh, like, if you don't do anything, you know, it only does, like, for example, 4k. But, if you time it correctly, it does a little more damage. That's, like, about 4.4k, I think. point is, it does more damage. Um... <laughs> What's the matter? Come so, is you scared? Is rampage time? I think I know what rampage time looks like. I just need to know how rampage time works in the, in comparison to just you see this? Dank no, old cloud, you know, cloud assault. Damn it. This is clash assault. Rampage time is no, now holding back. Back. Damn it. I really cannot wait till Thursday comes around because I really want to try this out. Okay, and then delayed down. Um, so, Delayed Down is actually going to be something I think is going to actually change this a lot, because how this is going to work is, when your opponent is dead, um, uh, you know, when they're down, you essentially kind of figure your grab where they're going to come in, and then you can set up on it. I don't know how to do it. But, you know, you can, you can hit them, and then... <laughs> get combos and stuff like that but this mechanic you can either hold a b or c 
and you can delay when you come in. So, you know, you can minimize the setup instead of getting blown out if you burn scissors, aren't even scissors, but you get the points. Um, so, you don't have, you're not, you're not stuck, you know, with, um, uh, like, with, oh, I know that Tager's gonna come in, so, I, mean, I can actually do the Tager come in. Um, like, I know that I beat Noel, and now I know that Tager's gonna come in, you know? That I have to punish him. Stuff like that. And even if they do something like, you know, uh, they drop down residence, and then, you know, you set them up with either a grab or a low, stuff like that. That it just kind of, it kind of puts you, the, like, not you as the opponent, you as the, or not, not you as the opponent. It puts you, the offenser, instead of you, the person coming in at the advantage sometimes if your opponent has that knowledge. There are a couple characters that uh, kind of have some weird entrances, like Chie does, Noel sorta does, like the characters you don't fight enough, right? The characters that you kind of are more aware of, like the the characters that everybody plays, like if you look at like uh, BB Tech, like even like in CEO, like I see, yeah, I'm sorry, Evo Top 8, there's a bunch of Mitsuru's, a bunch of user Rihas. There's a bunch of, actually that's really just it, a bunch of Mitsuris, a bunch of Yuzurihas, there's a lot of Akihikos. Like look at the teams, Base had Yuzuriha Mitsuru, Double B had Akihiko Yuzuriha. Uh, I'm looking at my notes right now. Fenrich had Mitsuru Yuzuriha, um, Hyame had Mitsuru Akihiko, it's, uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. I think the only unique ones were Shinku, you know, our Evo champion, had uh, Yang Ruby, uh, fucking Ekosui. Uh, literally, I'm surprised he hit top eight, but he hit, he was Orie and Jube. I'm surprised that Jube even got to top eight. And then, of course, Koji Kog with, uh, big bodies, uh, taking wall sign. Um, but then, like, but when you have that knowledge against those kind of characters, you kind of know how they, like, they're incoming. So I want to see how this kind of delayed, um, delayed down, um, entrance is, is what they're calling it, it seems. Um, affects a lot of things as far as set play and stuff like that. Uh, but that seems like it's all the new mechanics. I actually really kind of want to try them out, so... I really want to see how this cross raid stuff is going to work. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so for this one, I'm just gonna kind of, I'm gonna kind of just put the camera in my face. So I'm gonna try to move my camera over here so that way you're not blinded by this light. But my blinds aren't working as it's. It, either way, um, this is just the system stuff, and I actually kind of wanted to talk about this a little more. Um, I should need a little more time. Okay. Um. So. <laughs> pause the game. Um. You just heard Noel just be like. <laughs> I don't worry about that. Um, so, first things first, um, the one thing I wanted to talk about, and it's actually huge, um, one of the things that immediately when I was looking at, um, videos for when people were putting out, uh, not even videos, like tweets and stuff, for when people were putting out, um, stuff for BB Tech 2.0, was the changes that they were doing for characters' health. Um, so the way that they're doing it now is all the... 1400 health characters, um, characters like Yuko, um, Blake, the other ones, Naoto, Shirogane. Um, a lot of those characters, they're gonna get, uh, increased to health. Their health is gonna go from 14,000, or 1400, 14,000 to 16,000. Which is huge for a lot of characters, because, I'm gonna be real, like, I want to play Naoto so bad, I just can't because she dies too fast. So maybe this health buff will help. Um, but they're also, I mean, they're also doing the same thing for 16,000 uh, health characters, which are characters like Lene, um, Narukami, which Narukami is already pretty solid. So making his health pool bigger. Um, oh, Yosuke was another 14,000 health care, I'm sure. 
Um, Zama, I think. I have to actually. That I actually was trying to do a little earlier. Uh, let me. Um, let's see. I think it's Kazama that has that low of health. I know Hazama is one of the lower health pool characters. Uh, Ruby is another one that's actually kind of, uh, the, not kind of. Ruby is another one that, yeah, Hazama has 16,000. Ruby is another, Ruby is another one that has 16,000 health. Um, all characters like that are going to get buffed to 17,000 health. So, it makes me think two things. One, the weaker characters are going to get more health. Awesome. But, it also makes me think... That maybe a lot of characters are just gonna get increased damage, so it looks like it's just uh, it's gonna be more, 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 um, the second lowest health character next to Shadow Labyrinths. And we're talking about Shadow Labyrinths, not Shadow Labyrinths. If you play Persona 4 Arena, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Point being, um, uh, she was, like, the second lowest health character. Um, so, to, in, like, give her a decent health pool, um, uh, is interesting. Um, uh, and of course, the characters that are, like, 18,000 uh, health, like, um, Gang, Kanji, I think it's Kanji, 18,000, Akihito, I'm sure, I think he's Riha, and it's for both 18,000. Either way, their health, and the, tw and the 20k health characters, like, uh, Picker and Waldstein, I'm pretty sure they're the only ones, I'm gonna look up Kanji real quick. I looked up a lot of them, but I'll, I'll admit, I, not a lot of them retained memory. I should have actually had, like, a notepad next to me. Um, the only notes I had right next to me were the evil, uh, uh, oh yeah, Kanji is definitely 18 Um, uh, makes sense. I think he was 18k in Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Um, but they're not, their health's not changing. So, they increased the health of the weaker characters, but they kept the stronger characters at their health. Um, another change that they did is that, uh, Persona Break, um, so whenever, in this game, I guess I can show this off real quick, um, I had to do a couple things real quick. You scared? Alright, there we go. Um, so, for example, if, um, like, Narukami does his Persona, um, Persona. you break it, it, uh, I forgot that it had regenerating health, but you should have seen it, if not, I will turn off regenerating health real quick. It does damage to them, and um, it's not too much damage to where it's like, oh my god, and you can't die to it. But essentially, their persona is a stick. Persona. Yeah, it does a little bit of damage. So they actually made it so that way, persona damage that they take is. Ooh, I'm sorry about that. Is halved. Yeah, so they have the damage of that, which is cool. Um. It didn't make too, too much of an impact, but you essentially turn most of the Persona cast into like a, a weaker version of Carmine, <laughs> except Carmine does more with it than for the analogy. Um, so, I mean, that's cool. It makes the Persona characters a little better. Persona characters always had like a weird place in this game, with the exception of Mitsuru, Akihiko, and Narukami. Because, like, Chie is a little weird, right? But I've seen a lot of people make it work. Yukiko. Kanji is also weird, too. Um, Naoto just didn't have the health to do anything that her kid did. But I've seen, like, there's a couple of people that um, actually attempted to make her work. Uh, but there's, like, not a whole lot that benefited too many of the Persona casts. So that's why there was only, like, a few of them that were played. But I'm still like, that's, but I see that they're actually trying to make the Persona characters work. They're doing a lot for them. That's why I'm excited for characters like Adachi. I mean, I'm always excited for characters like Adachi. Even though I'm probably going to play Elizabeth more than Adachi. I'm going to be real with you. Um, uh, they increased the damage of Clash Assault. We saw what Clash Assault was already. 
Resonance Blaze and Air. Change the hidden vulnerability of land recovery to complete a vulnerability. Oh, that's huge, actually. What the fuck? So, whenever you did Resonance Blaze, Resonance Blaze is when you have one character that you can do your little uh, overdrive, I guess is the best way to compare it. Compare it to like overdrive and like, in, like Blaze Blue. Like, Proto Phantasma, Central Fiction. And, uh, but when you landed, you were still at a disadvantage. And the downside of it is they could still, they, if you guessed wrong, you were still going to get blasted for it. Especially if you were low enough, at ha if you were low on health, you were dead. So the fact that they changed it to completed vulnerability when you landed is humongous. That's actually really good. Thank God I can actually do cross uh, Resonance Blaze in the air, which means I'm not afraid of it anymore. <laughs> Uh, smart combo number one, adjusted the knockback and change the direction of various characters. The final one is easier to connect with any other bone of air. Okay, so they made it so that way it's easier to do the actual uh, auto combo one. That's good, actually, because there's been some characters that has been kind of weird to land that auto combo. Uh, final hit cannot be cross burst. Oh! Cool! They want to make sure that you can definitely get that, what is it called? Uh, cross raid? Cool. Down entrance. Revamp, revamp carrot various elements such as the search timing, making the incoming attack harder to avoid with back and forward movement. So they changed, like. Did they change the animation? Revamped various elements such as the search timing, making the incoming attacks harder and back forward movements. Also, my dog is. I'll be right back. Apologies for the most unprofessional video. Um, I gotta read this one more time. Revamp various elements such as the search timing, making incoming attacks harder to avoid with back and forward movements. So it makes it so that way it's, they want you to get hit by, it, or get hit or block it. So that way you can't, okay. So they wanna make it so that way you can't set up on them as easy. I mean, that's good, but that's how I'm interpreting it. Also, okay, there's a whole thing for command throws. Cool. I like grapplers. 90% of the FGC doesn't, but I do. I guess I'm the weird one. I hate fighting them sometimes, but I like playing Waldstein in this game. I, I used to play Taker, but that's... I, Added throw and vulnerability from the startup to, uh, okay, added throw and vulnerability from the startup to the end of the attack active frame. Um, added throw and vulnerability from the start to the end active, okay, okay, I have to read this again. I'm literally, like, my brain is pushed right now. Added throw and vulnerability from the startup to the end of the attack active frames for all against ground command grab that uses skill gauge. Okay, so all your EX grabs have throw in vulnerability? Is that what you're telling me? Okay, that was like the most complicated way of saying it. Yeah, but this does seem like it would be better for like Kanji. I mean, Tanger and Waldstein are fine. Kanji kind of needs a little bit of a push. Like, Kanji's like the shy kid in the back and someone's just trying to push him, but he's literally like actually like seven foot two and 270 pounds at all muscle. You need to push it hard. Exactly. And Kanji does need every push he can get. Added throw and vulnerability from the startup to the end of attack active phrase for Tager. All Tager while sending Kanji's against ground command grabs. So. It looks like all of their grabs just can't be thrown out of. Okay. Throw and vulnerability will run out of rechargeable attacks such as Tiger's Gigantic Tiger EX or Gigantic Okay. EX Gigantic Tiger. Uh the charging it over a certain direction. Okay. So it looks like they just added um, throw and vulnerability to command grabs. Cool. That's cool. Because I'll admit, the one thing I hate about when I'm playing a grappler is I want to fucking churn this butter! Let me churn my butter! 
And if you're throwing me when I'm churning my butter, that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. Let me churn my butter. <laughs> that's cool. Okay. Grapplers are happy somewhere. Somewhere somewhere out there, Koji Kong is fucking screaming and, ha and fucking excitement. Uh, reverse action. Okay, I'm gonna act mad stupid for a sec. What the fuck is reverse action? Oh, it's DP. Oh my god. I think that's what it is, right? Am I, am I dumb? Is that what it is? Yeah, okay, it's, it's it's DP, got it, I just had to make sure. I had like a big brain fart moment. I never, I've never called it reverse action. <laughs> okay, increase the, oh, this is just specifically for counters. So, like, Chies and, Okay, I apologize for my brain aneurysm there. So, okay, as I've been corrected in chat, also, hi everybody that's coming in, hi Sonic Blade, um, also, hi Suavis, Suavis Lies? That's it. Um, counters, counters, that's where we were at. Um, Chie, Yosuke, Hakuman, I think there's, I feel like there's more, oh, and Naoto, everybody forgets Naoto, I don't forget Naoto because I want her to work. Um, restoration of counter state. Okay, cool, it lasts longer. There is no change in the amount in the total amount of frame. That is a weird way. Is this just translated? Maybe that's maybe that's why it sounds weird. There is no change in the total amount of frame. Wait, is Liz's is Liz's um DP a counter? I thought it was the the one where she puts you in the book and spits you out, or is it not like Ultimax? Is it the one where she like counters you and then like you fall from the sky or some shit like that? Okay. Okay, partner skill, which is your assist, which is the recovery for moves that loop by itself. Okay. <laughs> During cross combo when an opponent is hit on the ground. The counter frame window is bigger, but the move is still the same number of frames. Okay, okay. I appreciate that someone was here to help me not feel stupid about that okay so it's it, it lasts longer but it's the same frames that sounds interesting <laughs> pretty sure it's counter not or a reader okay okay we'll check it out when it's the 21st i still want to play elizabeth combo count added a visual cue for time passer and combo changes every time turning yellow after six seconds what? I had a visual cue for the time passed during a combo. I had changes every second, turning yellow every sec after six seconds and blinking vigorously every after ten seconds. I need to see a long ass combo to know what that looks like. That sounds weird. A system message will be displayed according to the combo time after the end of the combo. Okay. So it's a combo. It, it's, a, it's it's an aesthetic change. And it, Seems like it looks weird. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. Maybe it looks really cool. Training mode features. I added a function one plus position reset that switches your main character into sub character. Oh, that's huge. Instead of having to go through this, uh, the the thing, the menu. Added a function two and position reset that switches the opponent's main character. Awesome. Have the counter attack for counter attack settings to occur after receiving damage. Cool. More training stuff. All right, that's huge. That's huge. Um, all right, now we're gonna get into the characters and shit like that. All right, um, at this point, we're gonna try to go by, we're gonna go by the characters, um, and I'm gonna go through all of them. If you're watching this on YouTube and you care about a certain character, I'm gonna literally do, I'm, I'm gonna be that guy, and I'm gonna put a lot of effort into this, I'm gonna put little tags for each of the characters, so... For those y'all watching on Twitch, you're stuck with me. Um, because I'm well, I'm actually curious about everybody myself. There's a lot. It's only the original characters. It's not talking about any of the new. Holy shit! Uh, I thought that only, I thought that was only got one thing. I was gonna lose it. Um. Okay. 
We got that. We're gonna be here for a while, boys. So get some popcorn. Boys and girls, rather. Let me know how to see the genders here. Grab some popcorn, get comfortable, because we're gonna be here for a minute. Also, I want to apologize in advance if I don't see your Twitch message. I'm kind of multitasking with a bunch. Uh, Anyway, with that being said, uh, Ride to the Blood Edge, of course. Protect Kuhn has to be first. Um, so, obvious thing is his big old weapon, Soul Eater. Um, he get, I guess they decided to buff how much life he gets, so that's sick. Um, they also buffed his auto combo uh, for 5 AA and then the whole damn thing. So, 5 AA. I guess they, no, they reduce the so that's that makes you go closer, interesting. And then the whole combo, that, that, that's higher now, interesting. Um, which I think that's good if you're doing something, like I said, if you're trying to do a combo like this. Oops. Get down. Get crush. I had it, hold on. Also, I just realized I need to turn the, uh health back to regen or else everybody's gonna just fucking die. So that way you can get a combo like that consistently, so that way you can get like cross raid. So that way Ragnar's cross raid combo can be a little more consistent. So that's that's good. That's good. 5 BB, which one's 5 BB? Is that just uh Change the proration. What is proration? Why, why do they keep saying proration? I keep forgetting this. Every like literally every patch note they refer to proration. And my first question is, what the fuck do they mean by proration? Change the proration to be fixed regardless of the number of hits. Is that scaling? Sounds like scaling. Okay, scaling. Okay. Okay, so change the scale. Okay, so they change the scaling. Can be fixed regardless of the number of hits. Okay. Increase the stun applied to the opponent on the second hit, improving the. Okay, cool. So I don't have to worry about like. Okay, that's actually cool because I've tried doing combos with. Uh... Like I also play Ragna and Jin just because it's fun and I don't mind. I don't care if I lose if I'm in that mood. And try to do like a like a loop of like this kind of combo, for example. Get down. Get down. Get but imagine something like that with an assist. So yeah, like this. Yeah, something like that. Um, actually, can I extend that? I'm curious. I'm sorry. I know. I, I'm I'm in lagging mode right now. I'm sorry. I'm not laughing this right now. Um, I changed my mind because I have I'm, I'm doing something right now. But like, I I always drop it after trying to get the second part of this combo. So I guess hey, cool, more hits, son. Um, the third hit of that increased recovery frames. Oh, so when you run up, you actually can look. Sometimes you have that fighting game blood where you just want to be like, let me do this thing, you know? It just happens, okay? Okay, so you actually have more recovery when trying to get the pickup of this. That way if you do it in like in the middle of a combo, so where you try to do something like this. Okay, let's we'll try that better. Interesting. Watch your feet! I guess I could always do something like this. And then cross combo, and then just... You get the point! So that way I can actually consistently pick him up, is what I'm trying to say. Crouching Yang has reduced startup and improved the recovery frame difference. What's that bad part? Improved the recovery frame difference? Okay, that's what I'm... So today is faster and has less recovery. I got the faster part, is less recovery. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm assuming that this is just all just translated and that's why it's confusing me. 
Okay, th okay. There's a lot of terminology I'm not I'm not used to seeing in comparison to most patches I'm I used to reading. They changed what 2B is, so this move is no longer going to exist. So if you like this move, you're not going to see it anymore. Um. Carnage Scissors, adjusted the invulnerability for it to be the same as the Oh, okay. So the invulner the invuln frames as this um, is the same as the residence version. Cool. Um also change fast okay, so this is a training mode thing. Change the fast attack to the counter attack settings to back A. Okay. Cool. Alright, that's Ragnar for ya. Um I mean I mean, clearly Ragnar got buffed, but is this going to heavily change what he got? It depends on what his 2B is now. Did his gem instead of Jesus kick the bit. Oh, got it. Okay. Okay. What if I want to give him Jesus kick? <laughs> 2B is going to be his old CF60. Oh, is it? Wait, really? They gave him 6D? For... 2B. What? Is it 6D, the one where he... Is it like the slow-ass launcher? Or are we thinking of a different move? That's a slow... Why did they give that to... Are you sure about... Uh, are you sure about that? I think it's his current 4P. Hold on. So this move? Yeah, that move. That move right there. That's, his, that's gonna be his 2B? I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Jeez. So that's gonna be his 2B. I mean, I guess it makes sense as an anti air. Okay, so unless. So, my thoughts if that move is launch punishable, or if that's launch punishable, that's. Launch punishable, Jesus. Let me not. Okay, let's hope it's not launch punishable. Or that move is garbage. Um. Also, this is not Tekken, so let me stop using Tekken terms. Um. If you can, if it's jump cancelable, got it, then there you go. It's a, then it would be a solid anti-air, then there you go. Okay, cool. I just hope it's fast. If it's slow, then I don't know what to do. So it looks like Ragnar's gonna be okay. I mean, he's still, Ragnar's not a bad character. Like, honestly, if you think about it right now, like, look at this combo. Like, look at these basic bitch combos. Like, even the basic bitch corner combos. Like, the basic bitch corner combos that he has. Oh my fucking god. He does. He actually did. He actually does damage. You get the point that I'm saying. Earlier, if you record. If you look back at this, I did like 6.8 doing literally nothing. He does damage. He's not a bad character. So if you give him a little more, maybe he'll be more solid. I've seen people blow my ass out playing Ragnar the Blood Edge. So I know that if you buff him up, he's still going to be pretty good. Is he going to be like, I'm going to take the Evo, Evo, you know, am I going to take the Evo, you know, trophy good? Probably not. But in the right hands, he's good. I don't think he's like the best. I think he's still pretty good though. He's not Yukiko bad. He's not current user Riha good, is what I'm saying. He's definitely a really solid middle. Is he gonna take the Evo? Yes. Okay. Alright, um, I'm gonna jump right into. I just needed to, um,. <laughs> chastise my friend because he didn't know what a that Weiss had a counter. Um, so I actually oh, I play Jin. I play Yang and Jin. I've been playing Yang and Jin since essentially day one. I played Yang since day one. Uh, I had flip flopped through my secondary like 5,000 different times. Um, point is, I actually very interested in what they did to Jin. Um, I mean, Jin's solid. Remember back in uh, back in the early days when Jin was like one of the most blessed characters? So people said. 
<laughs> anyway. Um, so... So, they, it looks like they did a couple of things. Yeah, Resident Soga. Oh, I live by the Resident Soga. It's actually still super cool. If people don't know how to deal with it. Um... It's still slept on. It got nerfed a little bit, but it's still good. If you don't think about it. So, they... They... They 5AA faster? Okay. Change to be jump cancelable on block. No, oh, what the fuck? Actually, this be jump cancelable on block is huge. That means you don't have to... That means you don't have to... Um, you know, because if you... Okay, so the reason I'm saying that's huge is because... If your opponent just, you know, guards, you're stuck, you know. Oh, sorry. You had to, you had to, you know, you had to, you know, either call an assist or something. This kind of, excuse me, makes Jin, um, this kind of, wants, this kind of makes Jin a lot more solid as a standalone character. Jin can be okay as a standalone character if he has four fuck i don't remember what it's called i always call it friendship meter but it's i know it's, that's what it's called resonance blaze meter i don't think that's what i don't know if it's what it's called either way um if he has level four resonance then he's absolutely a threat because he can just build meter and then you can push it back with, you know, Toke. Because unless they absolutely can read that and jump it, then you're you're fine. Because this is this move is just stupid safe, you know? But the fact that you can make this move uh you made this uh you made this move uh jump cancelable and you don't have to rely on uh you know, you don't have to rely on uh pressure and stuff like that is actually huge. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm getting really into this because I really am happy that they did that to Jin. Um, I know they, that they changed Jump B. Um, jump B currently is just the downward swipe, which, I mean, I prefer that, honestly, but that's fine. I know they changed it to uh, Jump 2B, which is fine. I'll be used to it. I always do. It's, it's literally like the same input. That's a blaze blue anything, but except it's 2C instead of 2B. I'll be used to it. Um, now it's. Don't think so. Hold on. Don't think so. It's that input. It's the. It's the. It's a forward swipe. So he has a little more air neutral now. So cool. Awesome. Um. Oh, wait a minute. What? Far call before second hit. What the fuck? They actually changed uh, JBB. What the fuck is it now? I have to. I, I have no idea what it is now. I to, I can only imagine. It's like the. It's not this. What is it? I'm trying to think of what else he could have. I, I can't. Even, I can't even think of what the other move could be. They gave him a new JVV. I guess I have to wait until the twenty-first, unless it's been somewhere on the internet that I don't know of. I thought I saw. Like I literally, all the information I have of Jin is because of Fame, and I haven't seen Fame do anything different. Um, they changed his. DP from you know, Renko into what the hell is Horensho? Is Horensho? Oh my god, is Horensho what I think it is? Okay, I figured out what it is and it's exactly what I thought it was. So it's the 623 drive motion from uh, Blaze Blue Central Fiction. Um, which, I mean, cool. It's literally a bigger range, but. I want this. I want no, not that. I want this. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be gone. Ah. Anyway, the good news is 
Ice car does um, automatically does its follow up, so you don't have to actually do it. Actually, that's not as good because what if I want to mix them up? What if I just want to do that? I guess I do. I just do. I do the A version, huh? Okay. So I mean, it's whatever. Um, sure. So I don't know what what they did to Jin. It sounds like they gave him a whole lot of new shit, and kinda. Yeah, the B version will absolutely be good for cross combo active switch stuff. But yeah, yeah, I'll have to. I'll probably still play Jin. I just have to. I have to know what his. I need to know what his. Okay, I'm. I'm more curious about what his JBB is. I need to know. I need. I need. I need the twenty first to come like today, but it's not going to because that's not how time works. All right. Um. Now we have our favorite character. Oh well. Um. Everybody's favorite character. Literally everything I see on here is change the action, change the action, change the action. Um. So. So she doesn't have her so her standing A is no longer an anti-air. Also, her voice is annoying. Her Gordon? Oh, four A. Come on! So five A is gonna be her new four A. Okay, okay, that makes a lot more sense. What's four A gonna be? Oh, special attack one? Oh! Come on! So is 4A gonna be this? Go. Nice try! You scared? Sweet. And then apparently they changed Sweet. this. Nice try! Come on! Nice try! Okay. Optic barrel. Optic barrel! Weak. Got you! Weak. Change the effect to blowback to blowback. Interesting. So it, it doesn't have much of an effect right now, right? I recall. There. Yeah, it doesn't have much of an effect right now. So there's a blowback effect now? Blow trigger! Optic barrel! Um, her neutral partner skill. Let me see what that does. I need Rachel to be alive for this one. Are you ready? Um Increase recovery frame, reduce the bounce back. You scared? I didn't notice that bounce back. No <laughs> Annoying. I didn't know that had bounce back. Quickly now, take aim. Annoying. This way. And then, okay. Just some trading mode stuff. Change of counter attack settings and crouching A. Okay. Okay, cool. So, I don't play Noel. Purely because the last time I had fun with Noel was Carla Phantasma. So. Sure, I guess. I don't really know what they did with Noel. I need to. Like, literally, they just. They were like, okay, you know Noel from Carla Phantasma. Or Carla Phantasma. From a uh, cross tag before 2.0? Yeah, scratch that. We're gonna start a whole new Noel Vermillion. I'm like, sure, fine, that's okay. I'm pretty sure you're gonna make the three people who play her happy. Um, so sure. I mean, if you like Noelle, then maybe you'll be interested. I don't play her. Rachel was a character that I actually thought about playing because I don't know, I kind of thought that Rachel was cool, but then they didn't really do anything with her in this. And then they tried to make her auto come. Okay, got it. Like, I've seen some Noel players do some work, but they're, the, like, the highest combo I've ever seen her do was, like, 5k, and it's just like, wow, this character doesn't do anything. Doesn't mean I still haven't lost to her, but, like, even still, 5k off of, like, your big boy combo, or big girl combo, I guess, in your case, it's just like, <laughs> Um, okay. So, one thing I immediately noticed when I was looking through Twitter videos is that Rachel got more wind. Um, aka Silphy. So... Okay, so... Oh, it, there's only one right now. 
Okay, so the first thing I immediately notice is that her max gauge increased from one to four. And I'm like, huh? Okay, so she can use her wind bullshit four times now. That's humongous. Holy shit. To accommodate the change above, I added a cooldown to prevent unintentional continuous use. Oh! She got the cool tea. She got the good tea. Improve the wind that blows in the downward condition. Let's play. Damn it. Let's play. Damn What's so what's so bad about it now, I guess? Are you scared? I don't understand what's so bad about it now. They fall even faster. <laughs> I guess. Now you become the Rachel Alucard nuke. <laughs> you scared? Okay. So increase the initial speed of the dash. Okay, that is a bit of a slow startup. So if you if you increase that, then. So, um, oh my god, I just realized that that, that pops up actually. Fuck, I did not mean to press the Noel button. Was, there, was Rachel always this kind of. Was, okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting. Increase the initial speed of the jump, then the initial. Oh my god, when you actually play this character in motion, you realize how slow all of her startup movements are. Holy shit. Also, she doesn't do the. She doesn't do the, uh. She doesn't do the, the cute little swing thing. If they don't add this you in. Scared? If they don't give that to her in this, mo in this uh, fucking thing, I'm gonna. I fucking have a connection trip. Wait. Change the weight, increasing the speed of falling in air. And change the weight, increasing the speed of falling in air. Okay, so Rachel got fat. Got it. All right. Special attack one. You. So this is the same you. thing. Got it. So you fall even faster. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, okay. So this is gonna be a different move. It's no longer a little slap. I wonder what it's gonna be. Um AAA set a limit of silk feed usage to one during the move. Oh my god, she's actually gonna sit. She's actually kind of sick. What the fuck? Has she always been this sick? <laughs> okay. So you could only use Sophie. I mean, okay. Let me let me reiterate. Has she always been this sick in BB tag? Um. So you could only use the wind uh once in that move, which I mean that's good because. Using Sylphid in with in BB tag is a little weird. Oh no, I know that George is the best assist. Fucking this fucking frog is the best character in the game. This this fucking character is literally the best character in the game. Um Smart Combo 2AA added a new action. Change the names of the subsequent smart combos due to the change in smart combo to Okay, sure. I remember first week, everybody was pulling the army of Georges. Jumping A has a bigger attack hitbox and increases the stagger time on ground hit. Oh. Oh, can you... Oh, you can! Oh! I think I play Rachel. Oh, I play, think I play Rachel in 2.0. <laughs> what? 
Holy oh, shit, she's kind of sick, actually. Can I make Flying George? Can I? I think, can this I? Way. Let's see. George of my teeth. Hold your tongue. Shade off. Yeah, okay. But uh, it's not like uh, in regular Blaze Blue games where you can just press, press drive and then make it slide. You have to actually do it in a combo. So I'm sure there's like George setups, but I don't play her enough. Um, JC increased stagger time on ground hit. Okay, so they're doing a lot for Rachel. Or couple four second hit. Oh, there's a. Wait, she has those? Hold on. Annoying. Shit. Okay. Why does Rachel do more damage than Noel? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I do. I, I I like George. Actually, hold on. Can I do? Hold on. Can I do this? Hold on. I want to see if I can. Hold on. Now I'm curious. Annoying. Have fun. This way. This way. George of thirteen. You scared? Shit. Actually, let me see. Let me see. This way. You have to be able to, right? Have fun. Let's play. No, you can't. Okay, you can't make him. You can't make him like fly, fly. If I must, um, I must. All right, sorry. Back to the back to the thing. Lotus barrel. Don't come near me. Oh, you couldn't be Sylphie during this. Really? If I must, I must. Here. Oh my God! You really couldn't do Sylphie during this move. Isn't that kind of just a big thing for her kit, though? Oh, wait, Lotus Barrel's the bats. How about these? I thought Annoying. Lotus Barrel was this. Terrible. What is this move called, bud? You scared? Barrel Lotus! Um, and then Sword Iris. Sword Iris! I mean Sword Iris. Sword, 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 Sword Iris. Iris is the lightning. Um Okay, so you can do more Sylphie. She has a lot more wind shit. I think that's gonna make Rachel a lot better. <laughs> I'm just gonna be right. I'm gonna be blunt. I think I was gonna make Rachel a lot better, which is super huge for this character. The fact that she can actually do more wind stuff, and the fact that she's a lot more mobile, and the fact that she doesn't this have way. to worry about like startup on her mobility is humongous. Annoying. Yeah, because you can really do stuff like this, and then, you know. Yeah. Like, she already has, like, a couple of things, but she's very not great right now. So this is going to make her a lot better. Is it going to make her, like, okay, we're not going to compare top tiers. We're, she's going to be a lot better, is essentially what I'm getting at. And, and Rachel needs to be a lot better. All right, Blaze Blue Galore, more, more, more. Um, next, we're gonna get Tager, Hakuman, Anu, and Hazama. Um, so Tager didn't get too many changes, which I mean, it's fine considering. I have heard this scene before. Um, it's fine considering Tager's a uh, It's it, he's solid considering. Um. So let's check it out real quick. So Gigantic Tiger A and EX. So I guess B is Wedge Catapult, isn't it? No mercy, Gigantic Tiger! Now, get up. Oh, so it's just saying that um uh, it's just it's pretty much going back to what we were saying earlier. He has um throw in bold from the uh, start up to the end of the attack and vulnerability. So from this entire what? thing. Um, or the, oh, the not the entire thing, thing but till the end, he has thrown vulnerability. Same with this. Except I know that there's a certain amount of time you can charge it. Um, he absolutely, um, uh, he's absolutely, what the fuck am I trying to say? He's uh, he's not throwing he's throw invulnerable for a certain time while he's charging. That's what I'm trying to say. Woo! English is fun. Um 
Oh, Spark Bolt I and literally any of his things uh, involving a Spark Bolt does not disappear when it hits a Persona or a Stone Clone. Oh, so this can go through Personas and shit? Oh, that's cool. Alright, cool. That's literally all Taker's got. Um, will it change Taker a lot? No. Anyway, Hakuman. Hakuman moves faster immediately is the first thing that I see. So this movement speed and this movement speed is immediately faster. Really? I want to know how much faster. Are we getting like, like boss Tager speeds? Because if y'all seen, have y'all seen like boss Tager or unlimited Tager or whatever the fuck it's called, he's fast. It's not, he's not gonna be that fast, but imagine. Um, five AA. I didn't change route to standing B or crouching B. Could you not do that already? Oh no, you couldn't. What the fuck? Oh! I thought you could. Initial D Hakuman, right? I thought he could combo into. I thought he could combo into B. I. Wow. Inevitable. Please. Please, please. Inevitable. So apparently they gave th this more of a Inevitable. downward hitbox. Ah, oh, I see. Fireflaw. I see the point please. of where it misses. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see it? Inevitable. You see it? Inevitable. So Fireflaw. you probably have more of a Fireflaw. lower hitbox. Yeah, you, you see the point Inevitable. where it's you see the point where it's whipping? So they probably gave, made that a little Fireflaw. bit better for Hakuman. Fireflaw. That's cool. Yeah, it's especially for Hakuman. Hakuman absolutely needs more combo routes. So they need he needs a lot of things to get going. Cause while he you know um oh my god. I just realized my notifications are on and one of my friends is playing a game called Head Tight Girl Fantasy. <laughs> anyway, I'll change the notifications in a bit. Anyway, not important. This is going on YouTube. Um he has, okay, let's see, what is it, what am I reading? Alright, so this is for... Empty Skyform, Summer's Advance, and Empty Skyform, which is supposed to both of his supers, or, or the distort, or the okay, so literally all of his supers. On hit, the opponent cannot be hit by any other attacks unless the last, until the last hit connects. Oh! Okay! I don't see where this was a problem, but sure, maybe for um, Yukikaze. No. Um. Summer's advance fixed an issue where minimum damage was decreased. There's an issue with that. Sure. Oh, whoops! This isn't regening, is it? I did 11 K, I didn't realize that. Annihilation. Has that always happened? No, I know about the projectile wave. Has it always done that little damage, even charged up? Huh. Ready. Um, okay. Minimum damage is increased. Oh, right, he has a new super. He has an air super. Please. It's like Jubei's oh, little please. air super, but he has it he has it now. Cool. Okay. So that's Haku then. Very short, but hey, we got them. To me. Honestly, this will make Hakuman a little bit more playable. Alright, now... Yeah, I, I've seen it. It actually looks kind of sick. Um... Now we got new. You know, new, the, uh, the, the easiest character. Break. 
the 5B god. Um, so... 4B? I guess... Oh, I guess 4B is a new action. Okay, cool. Hey, I like new, okay? I'm not dogging on new. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to be funny for the sake of comedy. So for 5A... 4A... 5AA, 5AAA, 2A, you can combo any of that into 4B, the new move. Okay. Cool. Can't really show any of that off. I mean, I could show what these moves are. But anybody who knows new probably knows what she does. 4B is the sword that shoots a 45 degree. Oh! I thought she had that. I thought it was like this. Was it like 4? Was it like 6? 6D in DBCF or 4P or 4D or something like that. Something like that, right? 6D or 4D or something like that. Either way, it was the one where she stand. It's not the it's not the crouching uh, sword um, attack. It's a standing sword angle attack, right? I I know which one it is. I believe. Um, so she has blowback on the, uh, the A auto combo, and she has, let's see, increase the pull in effect to be stronger on ground hit. Huh, okay. So, you got a couple quality of life changes, it seems like, and a new move, so awesome. Which will make you a bit better as far as locking down your opponent. I mean, the only way, I mean, she doesn't have, she doesn't have... Like, this, no, hold on, wrong move, I thought it was 6B, it's 4B, just that this is a standalone move, to my knowledge, um, unless I'm stupid and I can't see it, uh, yeah, she doesn't have it, um, but like, she has plenty of ways to get aggressive, like, she can still do, Ooh, that was cool. Hold on. Yeah. Actually, you discovered something I didn't know about. So if you space it perfectly, you can actually get that combo. Interesting. Anyway, it's time for my least favorite character in all of video game history What's ever. The the um... Alright, Azama, what do you do now? I fucking hate this character, I really do. Like, his playstyle is fucking stupid. He's... He, okay, the only thing I like about him is his fucking character design. He's actually smug as shit, and I like it. And he's got a cool hat. Um... I know there's plenty of people that will hate me for that. But, hey, I'm sorry. I... I I'm bad at the game, so I don't like Azama. 5A... Or no, bad, it's 4A. Where do you start up frames? Oh, 5A, 4A, and, and his theme is pretty good. Okay, so there's a lot of redeeming factors for Zaba. Also, I fucking hate this. I bet that they decided to make his his forward, like, literally, his forward, like, they made his forward dash his walk animation. Are you kidding me? It's just stupid. <laughs> anyway, so they gave startup frame, or they, they made uh, this, this, this faster, which is cool. What did they replace Mini Hill Tension with? Oh yeah, we've definitely used Smash. I, I thought I could do it. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, look at me! I'm a Smash player, guys! Look at me! Woo! So, what did they replace uh, Mini Hero Tension with? That makes you curious. Uh, Jump C, they replaced with. Oh, why didn't they replace JC? Wait, they replaced it with the little. Um... No, maybe. No, that was a different. Uh, that was a different move altogether. But they apparently they replaced JC with something. Interesting. Okay, I'm having too much fun with the character I can't fucking stand. Um, anyway. So they changed JC apparently. They changed JC and they changed the auto combo. Ender. 
Falling Fang. Changing the deck from a standard to a force stand? Central Okay. Central to the stand, to the change above. The ground hit stun duration has been adjusted to the same as the stagger duration. So the A version of Falling Fang and the Falling Fang do stand. That's cool. I thought he just had, uh, but doesn't he just have this for that? Yeah, I thought he just had that. Or is that just for resets? This must be just for resets then. I, 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 I kinda only know how Hazama works. This move is literally the move that confuses me. Oh, maybe he loves this is a command card. Oh, okay, got it. I thought it was just like a. Okay, so it must be. Yeah, okay. And then you just come off of it. Got it. I guess that's what I get for not fucking realizing how this character works all the time. Literally, the extent of me learning this character, is, or learning how this character works, is this. Uh, how do I, let me see. What is it? What is it? What's the, what's the thing? What's the thing that people do? No, uh, what is it? I don't even know how to do the launcher. How do you do how's the fucking launcher in the air? Or not launcher, how do you do the fucking up snake? Is it not the up snake? I thought you the up snake. But essentially what they do is they just uh they just I gotta hit 2B first? Oh! Like, that's literally all- like, this is what the least said of the Hazma players that I fought. They literally just... They literally just... They, like, literally the extent of me fighting Hazma is they just like to run away and shit like that. Um, anyway. Uh, wait. Oh, right. He has. Shadow. She, he has, like, literally. He has the fucking. He has the core circle back A, B, and C move. That's a new move. But it's not overhead. I know that. I know that. Um, Hungry Coils. Oh, right. Okay. I did not combo like this, but I'm not fast enough because I'm bad at this game. Damage is once. There we go. Damage oh, so you can't cross burst out of out of, uh, out of this. What's the matter? Come at me. Okay, cool. Oh, well, okay, that's not true. You can't you can't uh, cross burst out the first hit of this. And then the neutral partner skill. They changed the animation of this. Okay, fine. So there wasn't too, anything too crazy for Hazuma. They just gave him a bunch of fucking new moves. Okay, fine, I guess. Done. Alrighty, here's the part where I'm kind of I've I've heard not great things about this one. Um, so I played a lot of Makoto when this game first came out because I absolutely fucking love Makoto. Um, however, I heard that a lot of things she got she didn't deserve, and by that I mean that the negative connotation, not the positive connotation. Um, so, um, here we go. So, first things first, the impact gauge, if anybody is not aware what the impact gauge is, it's, uh, this little thing, uh, where, um, uh, after certain moves, um, uh, such as moves like 2, 3, 6, A, B, 
She has a little, uh, a little meter where if you charge it up all the way, it, uh, makes your moves, it can make your moves safer, it can make your moves do more damage. Um, stuff like that. Um, let's see. Have the attack released automatically at max level with fully charged. Oh, that's huge. Actually, that's really easy. <laughs> that's actually really good for Makoto. Because as you can see, if you're like me, you'll forget sometimes. Uh, you'll forget to, you're like, I'm trying to time it. And sometimes I will... Okay, I'm better at it now because I got a little bit of warm-up. Uh, like a bit of a warm-up. But, um, I will, like, I'm sure you saw in the beginning, uh, I definitely missed some of it. There we go, like that. So, I missed a little bit of it, and it doesn't really matter in the long run, but the fact that it automatically just lets you just hold it and then release it automatically is good. I mean, granted, you still have to time it. So that way you're not just holding a button forever. But, uh, yeah, there you go. It's a little easier. Standing B. Change the effect on the ground hit from blowback to ground stacker. So... Wait, 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 wait. So it doesn't launch anymore? Hold the fuck up. Dude, what's the point of this move? Oh my god, dude. What's the point of this move? Oh my god. What's the point of giving Makoto 5B? Okay, sure, it's an anti air. But if you're not gonna give it a lo like any launch property. Like literally, this is this is She doesn't have much to launch off of unless you sweep. And then you have something, you know? Makoto's already in a fucking tough spot. How are you gonna make it so she doesn't fucking jump? Oh my god. 5BB also staggers, and apparently... Okay, so... I mean, I guess. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could still, you know... I forget how to shot it. Is it AA? I mean, I guess you could do that. I guess you could do that still. But even still, it's like you're getting rid of one of her better tools. Like, sure, I mean, like, your opponent can dash at you and you can press 5B in response. But. You just put Makoto, who's already down here, even lower, you know? You're literally relying on tools like, uh... You're literally relying on tools like Serious Jolts for your mix-up game. You're relying on your... You, you know, you're relying on mix-up tools. Uh, like, you're, you're relying on so much that Makoto already has trouble with. To do things that you're getting rid of, like, that you're getting rid of, you know? It's, you're making an already tough character harder to play as. Oh my god, I was, oh man. There are so many things that make me want to get back into playing this character. I actually low-key have been playing this character every now and again with my friends. But holy shit, you're not doing anything for this character anymore, are you? What has Makoto done to you? Why have you... Hashtag justice for Squirrel Girl. Marvel, the Marvel community is gonna get fucking confused, but we're gonna know. We're gonna know. Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Wait. No. Wait a minute. So on five A and five B B B, they remove the impact gauge. The start of the move has been fixed for level one ver version of the original move. The properties of the move have been fixed for the level 2 version of the original. So... 
So, they're still gonna get launched. So, okay. Okay, I mean, sure, that's fine. That's f <sighs> No, it's not fine. Literally everything you're doing to Makoto is not fine. <laughs> it's not fine! Ah! Who is playing Makoto so goddamn well that you need to destroy Makoto so hard? I need to know, please! Let's show me the show me the tapes! I need to know where people are playing. Oh. I understand the 5 a, -A, -A, -A one, sure. I get that. I understand that one. Why do you need to do it for five, like the, the second smart combo? But I'm telling you! I, I, I'm in a mode where I need to literally do everything. Literally everything with Makoto now, because I'm literally on tilt. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. Clash Assault. Increase the startup. Increase the startup frames. Huh? Why? You're gonna make this move? You're gonna make this move even slower? You see? Yeah, because this move is so fast. This move is so fast. You're gonna make this move even slower. Slow but safe on block? Sure. Okay, that's fine. I guess. Even still. Oh my god. I'm just like, I'm literally, I'm, I'm, I'm literally the. I'm like, Ree! Why are you doing this? Increase travel distance, improve. Okay, fine, fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I guess it's fine, it's fine! I'm not asking for it to be Jin's uh, 5C, but whatever. Oh, God. <laughs> gotcha, gay. Extend the hit. Okay, alright. It's got a low. It's got a bigger hitbox downwards, sure. Comet Cannon. Change the infinite effects of strike the first into wall bounce. Does it not already do that? It's definitely doing that right now. The punch is simple now, give the wall punches. Oh, really? Is that not what it's doing right now, though? Let's go! Bring it on! I guess it's the comet that's actually doing it, huh? Particle flare. That's the uh, that's the back super. Uh, change the input method. We're charging the move continuously. We'll have to follow up move perform automatically. It's possible. I kind of want to see how what they did to Makoto. Oh my god, my my beautiful squirrel girl. What have they done to you? So change the input method. We're charging the move continuously without we'll the follow-up move performed automatically. Oh. Oh, got it. So Got it. So, okay, I, I get what that means now. Cause I, I guess I just did it literally on memory that I didn't think about just pressing it again. So before, if you charge it all the way but didn't press anything, as you just saw, it didn't do anything. So you had to charge it up all the way and then press the button. But if you press it too fast, you didn't get it. You essentially had to you essentially had to press it. Yeah, you essentially had to press hold. Start pressing and then hold, you know? So you had to be like press it, hold. Hold. That's essentially how you had to do it. Um so I guess it just does it automatically for you. That's weird. I'm still gonna probably do it the same way I'm doing it, but that's still weird. Oh my god, no, Makoto! Oh my god, it, it actually hurts me on the inside now. That's fine. The good news is Platinum didn't get anything, so I'm okay with this. Let's go! So Platinum got like two things. 
Platinum got a, a faster 2A. Um, and her partner skill, uh, which is 4P. Out of motion where a hitbox where Platinum holds a step for using it. Oh, okay, cool. To accommodate the change above, properties of the move. Oh, yeah, what was her? What is her 4P? Let's fight! Your turn! Yes! Oh. Here we go. So they gave her a hitbox on the beginning of the staff, and uh, and then they just adjusted the damage. Cool. All right. Cool. Fuck this character. I really Let's don't fight. care for Platinum either. Literally, it's like the Bring one character on. that you can make annoying. They successfully did. Um. All right. GG Platinum. <clears throat> Easy oi. Um, I am going to have to refer to literally everything because I don't know what this character does by name. The 4P is random and now she has a hitbox to make the random item. Oh, is it random? Oops. Oh, Oh! Ready, load up! 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 Ready, load is this the one that you can... My feet. I thought this one could go into a launcher. Am I wrong, or I thought this one could go into a launcher? Oh, wait, I'm thinking of this one. Hmm. I, thought, I thought I could go into a launcher. I guess I was wrong. What the fuck is Valkyrie Estrella? Holy shit, I don't know this character. Valkyrie Estrella? Oh, okay. Okay, during 236A, press A or B. Okay. Got it. Um, increase the hit stop. Okay, sure. Um, reduce the blowback distance and increase the blowback height. Okay. Worsen the recovery frame difference. Oh, they made it worse. Can we follow up with the Raj frame for us to EX room? Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, got it. So you can do this yeah. and do like this. Yeah. 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 It's not that. It's a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if you want to burn the meter and then go to. Yeah. It's like a sis, I guess. Oh I have never seen this character since her release, so I could not tell you what the fuck this character does anymore. Um, Mirage Thruster e Okay, so Mirage Thruster EX changed his new accent to... Oh, it's different now. Mirage Thruster is a teleport? Oh, is it? Oh! Here's the fucking... I'm paranoid and I fucking hate this character and... Cro and Crota Phantasma shit. Yeah, here we Let's go. go. Let's go. No and then you could do that, teleport, continue your comp. Okay. There's Easy Oi. There go. she is. Got go. it. Okay. What the fuck is Crusade Seraphim Beta? What the fuck? What the hell does this character do? Okay, she has a new move. It's this move. Is a new is a new move apparently. I I apologize. I don't play Easy Oi. I'm not aware. Uh, by name at least. Bring it on. Uh. On my feet. Oh, okay. So, Mirage Plus EX, um, apparently, like, I, I, I remember that you did. Oh, trust me, I remember this. Um, after you use the strike fall, or if you use the strike fall from each Crusade Seraphim will be enhanced. What does that mean? 
Strike Ball from each Crusade Seraphim? Like this? Hat? Are you talking about that will be enhanced? Fucking okay, sure. Um, Izayoi kind of literally needs something to be in the game, so sure. Um, War Edge, A plus D in the air. Oh, that's not even, this, this move doesn't even exist anymore. I actually forgot that she even had an air, a, 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 I forgot this character even existed to be fair. Um, that's a new move. This is a new move, or this is gonna, gonna be gone. This is gonna be gone. Oh, these are gonna be. These moves are gonna be Mirage Thrusters. Got it. Okay. Okay, cool. And that's a uh, easy way in a nutshell. <laughs> now we got the. Now we got the boy Yujiro Hanma here. Um. Front step. When I say front step, do they mean this? Change to stop when you're in a certain. When you get to a certain range of your first character. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let me read this. If the front step is stopped due to the conditions that above are met, all command inputs will be according to the opponent's facing. The if the front step is stopped due to the conditions that above are met, which is stop when into a certain range of the opponent's main character, all command inputs will be according to the opponent's facing direction. The crosses up, he stops right next to the opponent instead of overshooting them. But that's the mix-up, right? I do this, I do, like, but I, like, sometimes I want to overshoot them. Like, I want to do, like, I want to do shit like this. Like, I want to do shit like this. Like, that's the whole point of having this character. That's my whole point of wanting to play a character like Astro. Like, I want to do shit like this. It'll be a 5A range? I, I mean, I guess, but like, I would. Okay, when I play Azrael, I don't wanna. Oh, he still goes behind him? Okay. Got it, okay. Alright. End rant, end rant. Sorry. Smart combo plus system explanation. Cross rate cannot be performed when weak point is applied. Okay, so. Here's my question. How the fuck do I still know when the weak points apply? Because even to this day, I don't know when a fucking weak points apply. On my feet. On my feet. Like even right now, I can't tell you if there's a weak point applied. Let's go. On my feet. Okay, in literally every Blaze Blue ever that Ezreal is in, which are the two, I know when a weak point's applied. How the fuck do you know when a weak point's applied in this game? Because they're talking about you can't cross raid when a weak point's applied, but how am I supposed to know when a weak point's applied? Also, I guess you can follow up by pressing A without applying a weak point. Can someone who actually plays Azrael explain to me how the weak point system works? Because if I do shit like this, how do I know that I'm gonna fly at them? On my feet. I need to look for flashier hits. Like that? Okay, so I get the fucking pop. Like I get the flash. But how am I supposed to know that it's there? So you're supposed to just be like, oh shit! Now I know that it, now I know that I hit the weak point. On my feet. But how am I supposed to know way before that that he has a weak point, you know? Like how do I know right now that she has a weak point? So that way I can just um uh, on my feet. Let's go! All those weak points are just frame inputs? On my feet. You're kidding me, right? I'm, okay. Yeah, the more I know. That's the first time I've actually heard that. Literally, I've played this game for like hours. 
And by hours, I mean way more hours than I can think about. And I never knew that. Are you kidding me? Holy Come shit. Here. Okay, sure. Um, alright. And apparently you can just, uh, press A, um, to follow up with his auto combo and not apply a, a, a weak point. Uh, sure. Holy shit, I think I'm more mindful about the fact that Azrael has just frames than fucking... Oh! On my feet! Like that? On my feet! On my feet! On my feet! Okay, you gotta die. On my feet! Oh! Okay. Holy shit, the people who play this character are fucking godlike. Okay. Alright, holy fuck. Alright, next up is, uh, oh, this is gonna be really long, I didn't realize that. So, um, is, what do we have, 9, S, Mayan, Jubei. Jubei, we have just a lot of changes, so we'll see. Um, how dull. I think I know how I'm actually gonna do this video. I think I'm gonna do it like Blaze Blue characters. Sony um, characters, and then start? this, that, the other. I can think. I, I think I don't have to do this because it's gonna be a lot longer if I don't do it that way. But we're almost done with the Blaze Blue side. Uh, then we'll just have uh, now it's a Kuragane, who most people forget about in this game. Um. Okay. So nine. The first thing about her is that her elemental gauge will not be displayed when it's empty, which is the thing on the bottom left. So I guess it just won't display when it's empty. Um... Cool. Um... I wonder why they decided to go with that. It's um, interesting. You want me to start? Jump B. Change be able to cancel the various chains. Let's change the skills on hit. Oh, was this not cancelable to moves? Okay, what do they mean by cheats and skills? <laughs> because it definitely did that. Like, what did it not cancel to that I'm not aware of? So I'm definitely doing things like canceling the death. Run. Okay, so that's where I'm kind of confused. How chains and skills? Like, um. Uh, Slightly confused at what they're trying to say there. Amethyst. Because I'm literally Where's able to dream? special cancel, so I'm not sure what they're trying to tell me here. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm pressing JB. Easy. Yeah, this is JB. <laughs> JA is uh, this guy right here. Um, you want me to start? Yeah, JB is like Easy. literally, I'm doing JB. And I'm still able to cancel. <laughs> JA wouldn't even be able to hit. Well, right. So that's why I'm kind of confused. Like, you can see my inputs on the left. This is my B input. Why and you? I'm still canceling the shit, you know? Um, it's a tree. You want me to start? So that's why I'm confused. How dull. Alright, um, I not quite sure what that's trying to tell me. Um, normal throw with a throwing opponent to the corner. Change from wall stick to blow the maybe certain spells. Probably, I don't know. I mean, sure, maybe nine players understand that I don't know. I don't play nine. I really don't care to play nine. That's too much for me to want to play. So, power to them. The throwing the opponent to the corner, change from wall stick to blow back. For a distance before wall bounce. Okay. Go away! All right, got it. Okay, I need to. Um, you go want me to away. start? Why you? Uh. Go away! Why you? They changed it from that to blowback. For a distance before wall bounce. 
Oh, so I guess that'll push Nine back a little bit, so that way she can combo a little bit. Okay, sure. And she has a new assist. Let it roar! If I must. Okay. I mean, sure. Um, there's not really much that they gave to Nine that I'm aware of. Like, they gave her the thing where her elemental gauge won't show when it's, em like, when it's empty. That sounds more annoying than anything. Um... <laughs> Fine, I guess. Her throw is a little different. Her B, I guess, is different. And they gave her to assist. Sure, I guess. Um, S. Uh... Okay, let's see. Okay, S. I know there's a couple people that I used to play with uh, that played S. So, let's see. Jet or Standing B, which one's this one? Ah, right, got this one. It's always Standy B and JB, I think. No, not JB. Anything, with, anything associated with, with, with B with her is always like the kryptonite for me. Because I'll admit, I'm not 100% sure how S works, but I know that these moves are fucking a pain in the ass. You want me to start? All right, so Standy B has less startup and it, okay, so it's 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 got less startup and safer. Got it. Crouching A has is safer. Okay. Jumping B has. You want me to start? I'm trying to find the point of where this doesn't oh, no. hit. Because it seems like it's a really good move already. Like I'm really trying to find the point of where it doesn't hit, but I guess it has a better. It has a better down hit box. Change to be able to cancel the various changes skills only on hit. If I must. Oh no! Yeah! Oh no! Uh, there must be. Yeah! Oh no! There must be a move that I'm not uh, realizing you that you can. Does she this? Yeah. yeah. She has it. Oh no! There must be a move that I'm realizing that she doesn't have that she has that she couldn't do before. She can't cancel it on block. Oh. Uh, well, I know that, but it's, this patch is saying it's on hit, so. Is there certain moves that she couldn't do that were on hit? I don't know. Um... Yes, yes, I don't know. Um... I speaking of, uh... Rudor. Um, you want me to start? Oh, only on hit. I'm sorry. Thank you for the second pair of eyes. Um... Brunor. This is Brunor, right? Brunor is the... Yeah. Brunor is the court circle forward one. Brunor, change behavior of the move. I have to see how that looks now. Because this one is just kind of. This one is kind of. It just kind of shoots him in the face and then just kind of like, oh no, alright, I'm back up again. Change the blowback on hit when it connects to an opponent on guard. Increase the blowback distance and blowback height. Increase the attackable time. Oh. <clears throat> this move is starting to get a toga. Change my mind. Increase the attackable time and reduce the hit stop. Oh, this is the air version. <laughs> Completely fucked up. I'm sorry. This is why I don't get ass, guys. I'm sorry. This is why. Imagine if I was doing this. Imagine if I chose not to stream this. God, I'm so glad that people are here fact checking me. Okay, never mind. Trying this again. This also doesn't really do a whole hell of a lot. And it's only the air version, huh? Okay. So this wait, this blowbacks now? Any of this projectiles blowbacks, huh? Interesting. Now what is this the behavior of the move? I wonder what that. Alright, interesting. When your projectiles meet up. Is there a way to... Well, it says in the air. So... Is there a way to... Affect that to where it actually hits and, and it like meet up like that? Because I thought... Shoot 
Oh, that's how that works. Yeah, whatever. Um, it... I'll figure it out someday, I guess. Alright, now I got my, my, the good old fashioned, the good old fashioned character that's really good at jabbing the fuck out of you in, a uh, such a fiction. So 5B, <laughs> 5B. Change property when you toss in the downward direction? Why does this, why is this specifically being changed? Okay, sure. It's an issue where the move can't be followed when it's not really. Oh, wow, holy shit! Oh my god! I didn't know that was a thing that could happen! I guess this counts as a low, huh? Maybe it has low property now. Also, I didn't know that I didn't know that this just couldn't be followed up. That's so funny. Oh, it does it sometimes. It does it sometimes. That's so funny. That's actually super funny. You want me to start? I never knew that existed. That's so funny. All right, now we know. Let's see. Mine. Actually, you're mine. Increases the forward moving distance of the. Oh, that's gonna go further. That's so powerful. Oh, the first hit. Never mind. All right, humor in. Here I spin. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. If I must. You aren't bad. You aren't bad. Shit, I hit something. No! Damn it, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. I hit the um, keyboard. You want me to start? Fuck, everything is really weird and bonkers and Oh, what the fuck did I do? I gotta pause my recording. Alright, I just had a keyboard just magically appear and then disappear. That was the weirdest shit ever. Alright, um, Going back to my, I guess, the thing that happened, um, we, we were talking about this. No, not that. We were talking about this. Not that. We were talking about this. Um, makes the issue where the blowback is not enhanced when it's the tip of the spear. Oh. I didn't even know she had tipper moves like that. Oh, that, that, I think, I think it, the game literally tells you about tipper moves like that. Interesting. Okay, cool. Um, For Jubei, I kind of just want to talk about him because there's really not many much point of bringing him out because... Actually, I'll bring him out for the few moves that he has. Think you're ready? Because literally most of his oh, stuff God. is you just new moves mm -hmm. being added, which is cool. So they gave him a new 5 AAL. Easy now. Oh. Easy now. Oh. So they changed that move into something completely different, apparently. Um, the 5B and 5BB uh, increase the input buffer time with the follow-up move. So, so for Back moves here. like uh, yeah. Yeah. that, apparently there's more timing for that. So that way you can actually do the extra stuff for the fish, uh, following up fissuring slash. So 5BB is uh, a new move. He apparently now has a 5BBB, which is cool. He has 22A, 22B, and 22C, a move called Twilight Tiger. I didn't get a chance to play Jubei in Central Fiction, so I don't know what that is. And then um, first form Shadow Wolf, which is this. Back here. This move? Oh, you aren't bad. Where scaling was it a, a, a reply Shadow Wolf. You aren't bad. You aren't bad. Shadow Wolf. You aren't bad. I guess scaling wasn't applied properly. Oh, it's parry? How dull. Are you sure? Because this is the same one. Because he's bad. definitely saying Shadow Wolf here. Oh, never mind. You're talking about Twilight Tiger. I'm sorry. 
I didn't even know Jubei had a fucking parry. That's sick. Um, I guess he's getting a parry. Uh, you know what? I, for one, as a boomer that played Third Strike a lot, am welcome to all these parries. So that's cool. Alright, let's just add Naoto into this. And then I'm gonna... And then we're gonna just end this recording, and then we're gonna go through all the other characters in another recording. Uh oh. Um, we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, uh, which is now so. Alright, so this character got a bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna be real with you, I have no idea what he does. Um, so... This character kind of was just underwhelming when he came out, but apparently a lot of people made him work. None that I can name that name to you at this moment. Let's go over what he does. Um, and we're gonna learn what he does together. Unless you know what he does, then. <laughs> um, so um, 5B. You want me to I also remember he did have a bunch of charges. So 5B has chip damage, and he gets stack. He get gives more stagger time. Oh yeah, that's not a lot of stagger time. More stagger for when it's fully charged. 5A A A. Makes an issue where a chain route to normal throwing is what? I can't wait to find that route, that's sick. Um, so 5BB, okay, so his B move adds chip damage. Cool. Uh, reduce the duration of the t for the move to be fully charged. Oh, so this is faster. That's good for him. Um, just that the dash cancelable time to be faster during charge. Oh, we're talking about the second part of the move. Never mind. Not this move. Anyway, so, okay, Clash Assaults has increased recovery, it's safer, and it goes Didn't see this coming. So it's got the Makoto treatment, got it. Jump B, plus chip damage. You're pretty good. Uh, enhanced version of Inferno Crusader. Is it an enhanced version of this? What are you enhance that? Interesting. Okay, so the enhanced version of this adjusts the speed and inertia of the move to make it easier to hit the opponent that is directly at the Bring it on. Um, you want me to start? Okay, during Inferno Crusader A, B, or C, it changes to slip down on hit. Okay. Here's a landing recovery to only occur on hit. Okay. Bring it on. So, okay. Um, you want me to start? Phantom Pain. Is it this? I think you said it earlier. Okay, okay, this move. I guess you can do it with the lady button. That's interesting. It's not an ES move or anything. So, shift sway. Miss me. So during that um, move, bring you it want on. me to start? On hit, opponent cannot be hit by any other attacks until the last hit connects. Okay, sure. That means you can't assist or anything. Now, uh, yeah, now so can can't. If now so cancels a normal into a special, it makes the move unenhanced. Okay, if now so cancels a normal into a special, it makes the move unenhanced unless he dash cancels right before. Okay. <laughs> okay, back to the shift sway. Um, then back to Phantom Pain. On hit, the opponent cannot be hit by any other attacks until the last hit connects. He's the first hit to be un unable to be super cancelled. Otherwise, his moves are enhanced for Okay. Yeah, you know, not necessarily uh, uh, complicated. Banishing Fang. Go! Be gone! Go! The Banishing Fang adjusted all follow-up timers to prevent misinputs of unintentional follow-ups. Can you fuck that up? Straight through. Ah, I love that press. 
I'm trying to think of how you can fucking die. Okay, what happened? Um, sure. Divine Reaper. Uh, back super. Divine Reaper! You're going down! How's that? Alright, the showy super. If the first hit attacks that close, if the first hit... If the first hit hits at close range, got it. The opponent cannot be hit by another attack until the last hit connects, okay. Okay. Makes sense. And then the back partner skill, which Bring is... Counting on yes. Oh, that's actually a lot bigger than I thought. That's a humongous anti-air. What the fuck? Okay, sure. Reduce the blowback distance and increase the blowback height. Holy shit. Phantom Pain, is a cha Phantom Pain changes to prevent assist from getting you killed and accidentally knocking him out of it. Oh, okay. Got it. I, like I said, I don't play Naruto like that, so I'm, 100%, I'm not 100% aware of what's going on, you know? Alright. Uh, but that seems to be the change that's going on for at least the Blaze Blue characters. I'm gonna record the changes that are go that I feel for... Or that, uh, you know, for the other characters. Um, I actually did I The only reason I'm doing it separately is because I didn't think they were gonna be this long. Um... But I also need to take a bit of a break, so if you are watching this on YouTube, uh, let me know what y'all think about the Blaze Blue character changes um, and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll check them all out. Well, we're not gonna check them all out. We're gonna check out. We're gonna check out the ones that uh, that I want to check out a lot of the newer characters. But we'll check out a lot of the characters that got changed that catch my interest. I definitely want to check out Makoto. As far as what I. Um, you know, as well as, as far as what I think, I think a lot of the weaker characters, uh, with a couple exceptions, <laughs> Makoto, um, got a couple of really big changes. Um, uh, Rachel, I feel, got a really big change. Um, a lot of big changes. I don't know what they did with Noel. Akumin, they actually made him, like, have a lot of potential. I want to know what they do with Jubei. Jubei did look, uh, apparently his new moves a parry. That's sick. Um, Jin, I want to know what they do more with. Ragna, they look like they got a lot of potential with. Um, with the new anti-air. So yeah, I kind of want to check them out. Let's see what happens. And uh, like I said, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll see you guys next time.